Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All hope you're having a terrific day. Some of you guys have been asking me about my AC compressor and why did I replace it when the air conditioner was working. Well, I'm going to give you a little quick clip of what it was currently doing right now. Now you guys understand why I was going through all that sort of work. Anyway, today I'll be replacing a master cylinder because mine's currently leaking. So let's get straight on that. All right, guys, I've got the prelude all warmed up. And as most people assume, that that light right there, this one to be exact, most people think it's just for your handbrake, but it serves two purposes. Not only is it just for your handbrake, but also it's to indicate that your master cylinder is leaking or low on brake fluid. So as you see, I put my handbrake all the way down. That tells me my master cylinder must be leaking. And I know my master cylinder is leaking because for one thing, my brakes go all the way down to the floor. I essentially have got no brakes whatsoever. And reason why for that is because we have air in the brake line. Once you have air in the brake line, you essentially have no brakes. The only thing I can stop the car with is by pulling on the handbrake. All right, this is your master cylinder, okay? And it's bolted to your brake booster, okay? This circular thing right here, that's your brake booster. All right, this is your master cylinder. And a good indication to tell if yours is leaking or not is simply by looking underneath your master cylinder. See all the paint that's missing and all this liquid right here? That tells me right away that this cylinder is leaking. There's a seal behind here and that's leaking brake fluid. Brake fluid removes paintwork and that's why it's bare metal. Um, it's a perfect way I can actually show you is that will guarantee that your master cylinder needs to be replaced. Now, just so you guys know, this is a second hand one that I have put in, but I only got five years out of it, unfortunately. So, the new one I'll be putting on is been recoded by Bursons. This one right here is a 12 millimeter and these lines here and here are a 10 millimeter. Also guys, to be advised, put some rags underneath because we will be making a little bit of a mess. I'm just gonna take the excess out with a syringe just to minimize the mess. Do not get any of this brake fluid on your paintwork. If you do, wash it off immediately. Okay? Because otherwise your paint will come off. A little bit of penetrating oil should um, do it some wonders. Wouldn't hurt. For some reason it's quite hard to get off. To get this one off, we do not use a ring spanner. We are going to use a 12mm socket with a ratchet extension. As frustrating as it can be working in such a small area such as this, you don't want no setbacks. It should be loose enough now, I should be able to unscrew it by hand. I'll try. I'll see how I go with it. Looks like I can, so. I have your handy magnet stick nearby. So you can just kind of catch it. It'll help you catch it anyway.
There we go. And I got it. Beautiful. It's gonna be kind of seized on there. You might have to spray some penetrating oil on the on the bolts and maybe on just above the the framework here because it's a bit of a vacuum and it's been there for a long time I'm just got it loose now I can feel it wiggling out and just like I said take your time there's no rush ah there we go and she comes out just like that Oh, look at the mess. It was definitely looking. Whoa, what you just heard there was the vacuum inside. The brake booster here creates a vacuum. That's what this this line's for. Goes to your intake, sucking air out of there. And there you go. That's one master cylinder removed. I'm just hearing that suction before, at least you know that isn't leaking. It's this. Look how dirty this thing is. It's definitely leaking. Badly. Could have caused an accident. My brakes could have failed at any time. See, I got it from Breaking Yard, that's what the BB6 numbers have been written on there. I've got my original one now that's been recode, I'll show you that in a minute. After, after I clean up all this mess, what we're going to do to clean this up is I'm going to spray some degreaser and dry off the area very well, make it as clean as possible before I install the new one. When you install the new one, you have to be very careful about getting the new sleeve inside that rubber seal around there. If you don't get it in there correctly, it will not create a vacuum, not leak air inside the brake booster itself, and you won't have brake assist. <sighs> Some degreaser. Alright guys, I cleaned that up as best as I could. I'm reconditioned, masking cylinder. I took this to Burson's. They charged me about $400. It would have been $600, but because I went there recently and got an alternator from them, they, um, they sort of looked after me. As you can see, it's been sandblasted. New seal put in inside here. As from here, this one was leaking from the exact same spot. Generally, most of them do leak from here when they go bad. Um, so yeah, this is my original one that came with the car that I took off in the first place and replaced it with um, a second-hand one. But I, like I told you, I only got five years out of it. So this one is my original one that came with this car, and it's been recode. So now we're going to install this. We will have to put a little bit of oil on the end of this or dishwashing detergent, whatever you feel more comfortable just to help lubricate that seal going over correctly because if it doesn't seal correctly around this shaft here and it leaks air inside the brake booster you will lose brake assist okay you'll lose that vacuum in there guys I put a little bit of dishwashing detergent on the end of this to help it slide into that seal properly and like I, was, I said to you before if it does not seal correctly it will leak air and you'll lose brake assist okay and you'll be stuffing around taking this thing in and out need a little bit of extra light because visibility is not that good I can't see what I'm doing I'm kind of working blind at this point I just use my phone Slowly but surely, we'll get it on there. The new one is on. What we'll to do now is put the two nuts on, one on that side and one down here. And from this point, I'm going to need a friend to come here 
and help me bleed this because I have to fill this up with OEM brake fluid and get them to hold their fingers over these holes here and not let any air go back inside the cylinder because we're going to pull most of the air out of here before I put the new lines on because we still have to bleed all of the brake system anyway but I don't want to push all that air into the uh, brakes the braking system so we'll um, we'll get some help from there and um, I'll show you how we go after this hell yeah Honda genuine parts got plenty of brake fluid OEM's the way to go guys now to bleed the brakes you're gonna need about four of these bottles to do a full bleed I even got a remain seal here for when I want to do a remain seal I might show you that one day when I attempt it some manual transmission fluid or OEM stuff guys you just can't go wrong well I've got the new master cylinder in lock down, tighten down and bled I just got the hose and um, I just got the hose and hosed it off because any the excess brake fluid touches any of that paint work it will come off and so I just hosed it all off now the next step is to bleed the brakes so we have to get the rest of the air out of the lines so we'll have to start with the rear brakes first and then we'll move our way to the front brakes I just bleed the brakes now time to let it down well there you go guys brand new or well, not brand new a reconditioned master cylinder installed working all to do now is take it for a drive I'm just warming up the other prelude right now yes I still have it guys I just put the front lip on she's pretty dirty 